Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez. Here's a look at stories making news on this Sunday morning. Only on 10 thieves caught on camera breaking into a jewelry store in Hollywood. They cut a hole through the roof of Mint Jewelers off Sheridan Street to get inside. The owner telling us the burglars thought they covered all the cameras, but once they realized there was a hidden ring camera, they took off. Police say the group stole half a million dollars worth of jewelry, diamonds, purses. The owner says he's confident police will find them. Now to a safety alert, police in Fort Lauderdale are searching for a man accused of raping a woman after breaking into her home. According to police, the suspect who was armed went into the victim's bedroom, jumped on top of her and threatened to kill her before sexually battering her. He then took off. Officers describe him as a male in his 30s, six feet tall with dreadlocks, a clean shaven face. Anyone with information on the suspect is asked to call Fort Lauderdale police right away. Now to the latest on the corruption scandal that landed Miami Commissioner Alex Diaz de la Perdia and his attorney behind bars. His colleagues now weighing in, Commissioners Sabina Covo and Manolo Reyes saying they will watch the judicial process play out. Their comments come a day after Governor Ron DeSantis suspended the commissioner from office. The commission has 10 days to determine whether they will appoint someone to fill Diaz de la Perdia's spot or schedule a special election. He continues to deny any wrongdoing. And then there's this, police looking for the driver responsible for a hit and run crash that left one person dead in plantation. This happened early Saturday morning in the area of West Broward Boulevard. Our cameras were there as a blue tarp was covering the body of the victim involved. Police have not released that victim's name. Anyone with information here also urged to call plantation police. Remember, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air and also online. You can head to our website, local10.com for more.